let's make some paper plate peppermints. The first thing you're going to do with your plate is put a hole right in the center. Try your best to make it center. It's okay if it's not perfect. Then we're going to do some dash lines around your paper plate. What I am doing here is I'm doing a dash line and then I'm counting two lines and then doing another one. In the video, it is quite hard to tell how many I am doing, but if you look closely at the edges of your plate, you can see a seam and you want to count two seams and then do a line, two seams and do a line, and you want to go around your entire paper plate. The next thing you want to do is you want to count and make sure that you have a even number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 all together. That's an even number. I am good to go. After you have your even number, what you're going to do is you are going to draw a curved line to match up with each of your dash lines. And then you're going to do a hard cur curved left from your dash. So it looks like the line is curving to the outside of your plate. So you're just going to repeat this step over and over again. Remember a hard curve after the dash line. You're gonna go all the way around. It is very important in these early steps of your art project to carefully plan out your project. The better you plan, the better your artwork will turn out. These steps sometimes seem insignificant, but they are very important to reassuring yourself that you'll be able to have a really nice, neat outcome. So take your time, slow down, and really focus on the planning process and make sure it is exactly right before you start painting. Now I have gone all the way around with my planning out. And next what you're going to do is you are going to start painting. So you are just going to use a paintbrush with some red paint on there. And what you're going to do is you're going to outline your edges. So you're going to skip every other curved line making this peppermint pattern. What I want you to do is I want you to very, very carefully go around the outline and then paint in the center. Go around the outline, then paint in the center. So as you can see, I went around every single outline and then painted in the center, and now I'm going back and cleaning it up. We want these to look as realistic as possible, so you really wanna make sure that your lines are neat, nice, and straight. I have also gone in and I've done a second coat so that you have that really nice opaque color so that nothing is see-through, so it will be a little bit more vibrant. Next, you are going to go in with your highlight. Where I want you to put your highlight is if you look at the very edge of your plate where it's about to curve down, this is where I want you to put your highlight. You're just going to take the tip of your brush and you're just going to gently put a little bit of white onto that curved edge. You're going to do this for all along that red section in each of your six um, peppermint red marks. So you're just gonna go on that edge Sometimes if your paint is still wet, it will mix it to be a little bit pink. That is okay. You can go around it again with the white if you need to. So I'm just going clear across. I'm doing that curved edge. And I'm kind of doing a minimal white line to make sure it look like a natural highlight. Once again, we want these to be as realistic as possible. So take your time, slow down, and try your best to get that really natural highlight. My next step is I mix a tiny bit of red and white paint. You just need a tiny bit because you want it to be a very dark pink. And I'm going underneath my white line and adding just a tiny pink line as well. When you do this, it will kind of accentuate the highlighted area a little bit. It will kind of give it that value look as well. After I have done this all the way around my circle, I'm going to add some pink into the different slices. You want to keep this consistent on which side you do. So I'm doing all of mine on the right side. You can do the right or the left. Either way, just make it consistent all the way around your peppermint. 
Then I'm going in one more time, just touching a few things up. If you wanna add a little bit more white to just really have that pop, you can. I like to do it all consistently on the same side as well. I'm kind of doing it on the left a little bit more so that you could really see it. And then you should be all done with your peppermint. If you need to go back in and clean anything up, do so now. You may also go in and add a tiny little line in either red or green if you would like. If you get done early and you finished up early, then you may do that process as well. But make sure it's neat and nice and has really good craftsmanship. If you need to put white over anything to touch it up, that is totally fine. There's your finished product.